Hey everybody, welcome to Financial Friday. My name is Lisa Robinson and I am the owner and founder of Lisa Marie Accounting. And Financial Fridays is all about um, giving you tips and ways to just have sassy and sexy money and end our week great. And so for those of you who don't know me, again, my name is Lisa Robinson. I am the owner and founder of Lisa Marie Accounting LLC. I am a financial and profitability mentor for women entrepreneurs. And my whole mission is to help as many women entrepreneurs stand on their own two feet and be empowered by their business money instead of controlled by it. So without further ado, my tip for today is going to be about budgets. And I know that for many of us, um, that's a topic we don't like talking about. Um, but bear with me, okay? Um, for a long time, I didn't like them either. Um, I looked at them the wrong way. I looked at it as a restriction instead of an empowering way, instead of using it as a plan. Um, and now I use it as a plan and I help my clients do the same. So I want you to think of it differently. So today's tip is about um, what budgets can actually do for you. Okay, so when you budget, you are able to um, know your numbers, right? You're able to see what's um, coming in and what's going out. But not only that, you're also aware of your money because in order to budget, you gotta be aware of what's coming in, which makes you aware of how much cash flow you have, which is really, really important. And I don't mean fret over it, I just mean be mindful over it, know what's coming on. The knowledge is power. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm big on that. Knowledge is power. And having that knowledge of what's coming in and what's going out is truly empowering. Um, and, and look at it that way. When you look at it that way, you think of it that way, your mindset kind of shifts towards, you know what? This helps me make plans. This helps me see, okay, this is where money needs to go. This is where I'm spending it. Is it being utilized correctly? Am I using all of the stuff that, you know, recurring charges they're being, um, uh, they're being billed to me? Mm, excuse me. For example, when I started doing this, I realized that I was still paying $10 to buffer and I wasn't using them. Now, granted, that's $10, but think about it. $10 per month for a year. That's 120 bucks. I don't know about you, but I much would rather have that $120 and I could utilize it some other way. And again, most of us have more than one. So those $10 per month charges start adding up, right? So having that budget and just knowing where your money is going makes you really aware and very mindful of what you're spending and making sure that you're utilizing the stuff you're spending because if you're not, cancel it. There's no sense. I mean, it's like throwing money down the drain, right? So when you budget, again, you become aware, right, of your money. You know what's coming in. You know what's going out. And you're able to see what you spent last month um, and see if there are ways, you know, that you're able to um, make changes or make cuts. If you're mindful and you're aware of it and you look at it and you compare it, you're able to see how much you're spending at coffee shops, how much you're spending at office supplies. Um, did you go over on your marketing budget? If you went over, okay, it was needed, but do you need to adjust your budget so that you have that money for the next time? And is there any cuts that need to be made? And you're also able to see um, how much money is actually coming in. You know, did all the money come in? Was this month a short month? Because again, as entrepreneurs, we sometimes have fluxes, right? So, or fluctuations. So having that budget it helps you be aware because again, when I think of budgeting, I think of an all-inclusive budget, which includes knowing how much money is coming in, those day-to-day -day operating expenses, those one-off expenses, um, and that's making sure that we can pay ourselves. And again, you can't really pay yourself consistently unless you know how much money you have coming in and you know exactly how much money is needed for your operating expenses and your but you know your marketing and all so many people um, instead what we do as entrepreneurs is we kind of go we think we know but we end up basically doing it blind so basically what we're doing is just saying oh we we're paid five thousand dollars oh I'm just gonna pay myself this and then come find out we're short for what we needed for budgeting um, because money was delayed coming in so having a budget um, just allows you to be very mindful 
um, and to be very aware. And if we shift the way we think about it, I promise you, it's very, very empowering and you're able to take that control and you're able to plan because you'll start seeing if you have extra money and when you do have extra money you're able to plan accordingly for it you're able to um, plan for growth you're able to hire a contractor you're able to open up another office whatever those goals are go take a trip hire a professional photographer whatever those goals are you're able to plan for them okay and so I just want you to think about the budgeting in just a different way Okay, so that's my tip for today. Again, think about budgeting in a really good way and remember it makes you become aware of your money. And we want to be aware because we want to make more and we want to be able to pay ourselves more and we want to grow. So that's that's how it's going to happen. All right, so that's it for today. And remember, sassy and sexy money is definitely possible. Make sure you follow me for all the other Financial Friday tips that are going to be coming and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.